Let us count. Hello, friends. I am Bunny, and this is Chotu. Today, Chotu is going to help his uncle at his shop in the fruit market. So today, with Chotu, we will learn to count the number of fruits. Write the numbers and identify tens and ones in the numbers. Chotu, look. Different varieties of fruit are kept here. You have to count the fruits and tell their number. You also have to tell how many groups of ten are there in each, so that we can count them easily. Uncle, a group of ten means tens. In school, our teacher taught us that a group of ten is called tens, and less than ten are called ones. Okay, Chotu. So you count the fruits and tell me how we can show them in tens and ones. Okay, Uncle. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There are twelve apples. Well done, apples twelve. Now tell me, how many tens and ones are there in twelve? One group of ten will be formed, and two apples will be left. So there is one tens and two ones. Well done. Now count these bananas. And place them in the second box. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Hmm. There are fifteen bananas. How many tens are there in fifteen? There are fifteen bananas. A group of ten will be formed. So there is one tens in fifteen. And how many ones are there? There are five bananas left. So there are five ones. Well done, Chotu. Now let's count these oranges and place them in the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. There are twenty oranges. Well done. Now tell me, how many tens are there in twenty? With twenty oranges, two groups of ten oranges will be formed. So there are two tens. And how many ones are there in twenty? Hmm. There are no oranges left here, so number of ones is zero. Well done, Chotu. Now count these coconuts and place them in the basket. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Yes. So, how many groups of ten coconuts are there, and how many single coconuts are left? Hmm. There is one group of ten coconuts and one single coconut left. So it will be one tens and one ones in eleven. Absolutely right. Now count these watermelons and tell their count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. There are eight watermelons. Hmm. So how many tens and ones are there in eight? There are only eight watermelons, so we cannot form any group of ten. So there is zero tens and eight ones. Chotu, 
I have counted the pomegranates and placed them in the groups of tens. Can you tell me how many pomegranates are there? Uncle, there are two groups of tens. That means two tens and three single pomegranates. That means three ones. Uncle, there are twenty-three pomegranates. Two groups of tens, so it will be ten and ten twenty. And there are three more pomegranates. So it will be twenty one, twenty two, and twenty three. There are twenty three pomegranates. Absolutely right, Chotu. You did a great job today. Thank you, Uncle. I had so much fun working with you today. So friends, today we learn to count the number of fruits and write the numbers and identify tens. And ones in numbers. In the next video, we will learn to identify big numbers and small numbers. Let us count. Friends, today is Chotu and his brother Motu's birthday. So their uncle has organized a birthday party for them. So today we will learn to identify big numbers and small numbers in this video. You all are welcome. To Chotu and Motu's birthday party today. Hey, what is this? I am younger than Motu, but the number of candles on both our cakes are the same. Oh no, Chotu! Count the number of candles on both the cakes. This is my one candle, and this is Motu's one candle. This way, it will be my one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven candles. And Motu's candles are one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven candles. So these are same as my candles. And there are three more candles. Hmm. So there are three more candles on Motu's cake. Chotu, there are a total of seven candles on your cake. How many candles are there on Motu's cake? After seven, there are eight, nine, and ten. So there are a total of ten candles on Motu's cake. Now tell me, between seven and ten. Which number is bigger, Uncle? There are more candles on Motu's cake than mine, so ten is more than seven. Ten is a bigger number. Absolutely right. Thank you, Uncle. Chotu, we have sixteen red balloons and nineteen yellow balloons. Tell me, which color balloons are more? There are sixteen red balloons and nineteen yellow balloons. Uncle, while counting, sixteen comes before and nineteen comes after. It means the count of yellow balloons is not sixteen. It is seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. It's three more. So yellow balloons are more over here. Well done. Of sixteen and nineteen, which number is bigger? Yellow balloons are more than red balloons, so nineteen is bigger than sixteen. You are right, Chotu. Chotu, now look here. We have thirteen blue caps and twenty-two green caps. So which color caps are more? Hmm. 
थ्री इज इन द प्लेस ऑफ वन इन थर्टीन एंड टू इज इन द प्लेस ऑफ वन इन ट्वेंटी टू सो यर थर्टीन कैप्स आर मोर देन ट्वेंटी टू कैप्स छोटू इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इफ यू प्लेस ट्वेंटी टू कैप्स इन टू ग्रुप्स ऑफ टेन देन टू कैप्स विल बी लेफ्ट बट इन थर्टीन यू विल बी एबल टू मेक ओनली वन ग्रुप ऑफ टेन एंड थ्री कैप्स विल बी लेफ्ट Now tell me, will there be more caps in two groups of ten or in one group of ten? Yes, uncle. Two groups of ten means twenty caps will be more than ten caps. So twenty-two caps are more than thirteen caps. Absolutely right, Chotu. That is why we do not see ones but tens while comparing two numbers. Number twenty-two is bigger because there are two tens in it, and there is only one ten in thirteen. I understood, Uncle. Well done, Chotu. Now let's cut the cake. Your friends are waiting for a long time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to. So children, did you have fun? Today we learned to identify big numbers and small numbers at Chotu and Motu's birthday party. In the next video, we will get to know about the mistakes that we make while writing numbers in tens and ones. Let us count some common mistakes. Friends, today we will learn how to correct the mistakes made while writing numbers in tens and ones. Chotu. You know how to make groups of tens. Now count these cherries by making groups of tens. Yes, I will make them, Uncle. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. First group of ten. Second group of ten. and this is the third group of 10 now let's count the remaining cherries hmm 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 how many groups of 10s were made with these cherries there are three groups of 10 cherries here now tell me How will you write three groups of tens and eight single cherries in the form of tens and ones? Hmm. Eight in the box of tens and three in the box of ones. Oh, Chotu, there are thirty-eight cherries in total. Thirty-eight means three tens and eight ones. Now think carefully and tell me, how will you write thirty-eight in the boxes of tens and ones? Oh yes, three tens means three will come in the box of tens, and there are eight single cherries, so eight will come in the box of ones. Very good. So children, today we learn how to correct the mistakes. Made while writing numbers in tens and ones.